What are you doing in here? Nothing. You gave me a scare. I'm not used to anyone else being in here. Do you want me to leave? No. We're glad you're here. Yeah, we should do it again in another 17 years. Your mother and I haven't always gotten along. That's why I haven't been in touch much. Uh-huh. I wish you could have really gotten to know your grandfather. You would have liked having a boy around. He always gave me the creeps. <laughs> well, he's been ill for a very long time. Don't you ever wish he would just die? Hank, don't ask that. Why not? It's rude. You know, I haven't made up my mind about getting tested yet. Is that what you were doing out here? No. What are you doing with all these tools? I was just looking at them. I was going to put them back. Hank, I didn't think you were going to steal them. You can have them if you want. Really? Sure. You're just going to give them to me? <laughs> sure, why not? These are really cool tools. They were your grandfather's. I think he would have wanted you to have them. Hospital won't let me keep them, though. Well, you won't be in there forever. When I get back, they're sending me to a place for adults. Why? I turn 18 in three weeks. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thanks. You know, I bet if the fire hadn't spread up the street, wouldn't be such a big deal. And I just want to make sure I'm not some kind of a threat. You're not a threat. I'm sure they'll see that. I bet you'll be the best one in there. You know, there's this one guy on my floor. Held a razor blade under his tongue for five hours. He talked to the orderlies and ate and everything. Why on earth did he do that? He's trying to beat my record. What do you want to be when you grow up? I am grown up. When I look at you, I see a sad little boy. You should get your eyes checked. 